very quickly opens his door with a baseball bat, goes to swing it at me. There we go. What is up, guys? Today is a new day. I hope you guys are having a great day, working towards your goals, being productive, and absolutely freaking crushing it. Okay, it is morning. It is now... For our Monday, it's Monday now. Perfect, my favorite day of the week, honestly. Like, Monday, I love Monday. Mondays are probably, Mondays and Fridays are, Saturdays are decent. Sundays kind of suck, cause it's like, ah, you can't, everything's closed. Monday morning, it's just like, everybody's like, let's go, do shit, let's get stuff done. Oh, that makes my forehead look huge. show you this. I've been coloring it. I kind of wish that I had markers. I don't actually have markers. And you say, Dylan, you have markers you color on your desk right there. Hmm. Okay. Well, okay. Yes, I have markers. I have paint markers. I have a bunch of Sharpie paint markers. Those work for like drawing on things where oil paint. I don't have regular markers. And anyway, I probably should have just not colored it with pencil crayon. This is going to be like a little tiny cactus garden. I don't know if I'm gonna build it with Skylar or just for her. I'll see if she wants to help me build it. But basically she's got a bunch of tiny little cactus and they're in little pots. But she mentioned like something about like a cactus garden. I was like, that would be dope to have like something like this. And I don't know if different kinds of woods are dangerous for different kinds of plants. I know that like a walnut will kill all the plants around it unless it's like a pine tree, something that'll survive underneath a walnut tree just because it like there's toxic crap coming out of walnut tree. So I don't know, does walnut wood also have toxic crap coming out of it? So I would not build that out of walnut because I really don't, I like, I don't think, I don't think I could live with myself if uh, her cactuses died because I made a little terrarium out of walnut. So what I'm gonna make it out of is cedar. And if anyone knows whether or not, like, I know like cedar's like good for most plants and it won't hurt things and that's what people make flower planters out of outside because you can't use pressure treated because pressure treated is dangerous for the plants. I'm pretty sure cedar is going to be fine. Like I honestly can't see that much wrong with it. Like, I, but if anyone knows, let me know because I don't want to screw the cactuses up. All right. On with the day. Ooh, I feel good. I feel good. I just recorded the, the intro and outro of the DIY video for this little hammer. So you guys have seen this in the past few days past week and a half, two weeks. I've been working on this for a long time, but it, the video is finally up. I'm just gonna throw it on there. Monday maybe, maybe I'll just save it for the two minute Tuesday. I don't know. If I can come up with another DIY video, I will put it up today. If not, I'm not going to like try to jam it in. I basically missed an entire week, which is, yeah, okay, it's fine. I know I'm supposed to be making more videos than I. So I've been busy the, the past. Okay. So anyways, uh, there will be DIY videos this week. This will be the Tuesday video. And that means I've got to come up with something equally as awesome for the Friday video. Because I think that this is just fantastic. All right, get off my desk. Get into the middle of the room. It's now present day. I figured that uh, since the rest of the video is actually just clips of me sitting at this desk, I would just cut it up right now and just come back to you guys present day. That video was filmed Monday and it is now Thursday, the day that this video is coming out. Um, a few things happened that caused me to make this post on this channel about how I wanted to take a week off of videos. I would be back in a week. Well, that lasted for about two or three days and now I'm back. So it, it was a break, it was well needed and it will be explained. I'll explain it at the end of this video or maybe it was the title, I don't know. Carry on. All right, how is that working? We're still running off the same battery for this whole day so I don't know how the heck that's working. Also the vlog hasn't really left this table but that's okay because I'm not really leaving this table today other than for a nap that I tried to have but apparently that didn't happen. Yeah, you guys didn't get to see the power bar in action. Power bar is up and running and it works very nice, especially when these lights are uh, down instead of blaring in my face. I think it's looking pretty good. Got one USB port taken up, another one that still can be used, one that I'm just leaving open there, another battery charger for this big camera. I just, oh boy, what mode are we in? The wrong one probably. 
Okay, ignore the fan noise from down there because I'm not turning it off because it is so hot in here. I have been working on the Casey Neistat wood burning. Come on, focus on me. Holy crap. Let's go. Okay. I didn't get enough sleep last night. Maybe you guys noticed that earlier in the video here. Um, I had like a two hour nap this afternoon. Didn't do it for me. I'm just mega exhausted. I've been working on the wood burning for the last hour and a half, but I just, I need to go to bed. And I will end this video off in the morning tomorrow when I get up. It should probably be pretty early. It's like 9.30 right now. Uh, I will probably be up at like 4 or 5, which will be pretty dope. Um, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it off. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. I flew the drone earlier today. I'm sure I already had some of that footage in the video, and if not, then uh, here's some more. Okay, so this is where we get into uh, why I didn't actually finish the video the next morning. And that is because instead of going to bed that night right after I filmed that at about 9 o'clock, I went for a bike ride with my girlfriend. Long story short, some guy followed us with his car, pointed something at me that looked like a gun. It wasn't a gun, but he held it like one as he drove by me, and then we had went to Tim Hortons. Kind of felt weird about it. Then saw him again. I had an ice water. I kind of tried to flag the car down, like, what, what the hell is this guy doing? He drove right at me, didn't really slow down that much, so I threw my ice water at his car, hit his car at the front, splashed down the side of his car. He stopped in a hurry, spun around, got out of his car, chased me on foot, tried to punch me. I got away from him. Then he tried to follow me, went the wrong way. I went back to him because he had stopped. Th that moment he said something, hey, I'm not looking for you. I was like, oh, okay, are you, you looking for whoever? There's this g group of people that steals bikes in my town. And I, he must have thought it was me. And that's very quickly opens his door with a baseball bat, goes to swing it at me, misses because I moved out of the way, had a low swing, hit me in the, well, almost the leg and the bike with a wooden baseball bat. Then once I got just a little bit further away, you can see it in the clip right here, he throws the baseball bat at me as I'm just trying to figure out which way to go. And at that moment, I realized there's nothing I could do. This guy's coming at me with a baseball bat. I need to leave. So I turned around, went past his car, got the license plate, and reported it all to the police. And that's kind of that happened, and that's why I didn't finish that video the next morning, because I was up really late that night. It was, it was kind of ridiculous. It was definitely ridiculous. The guy has now been charged. Uh, I still don't know his name, and quite frankly, I don't really care what his name is. That is just for you guys watching. That's why I didn't finish filming the video. With footage that I have in that story, I'm going to figure a way to tell it more in depth and try to provide some kind of message because what happened was person going around being a vigilante, trying to stop thievery, which turned into attacking someone who was innocent I'm gonna make a video about it. Ben's gonna help me. He's been just helped me organize all those thoughts and we'll figure out how to film that. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that's where my head was at the last two days. It was a lot to kind of deal with. The, the guy's very sorry. He has been charged and I will never release his name if I ever even know it. But I do think that there's a valuable message somewhere in that story and in that clip that I will make a video about the coming few days. I'm making a video today, so I, I'm back on the roll of making videos. <laughs> Again, that's just, I wanted to let you guys know that that's what happened. And with that, I'm going to end this video. Thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for letting this me making videos be a thing. And thank you to my number one Patreon supporters, Randy, Robin Bird, and Mike Maxwell. If anyone else wants to help support my channels or the things I do on YouTube, here is a link up in the top corner. Also in the description of all the videos. I will see you guys all next time.
you guys are new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. See you guys all tomorrow. Peace out.